Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video we will be talking about the nonsense mutations and its effect. Now as the name suggests it's totally nonsense. <laughs> that means uh, here we can see uh, this is the DNA again from DNA to mRNA then the polypeptide chain which is eventually folded into a protein right. Now uh, as you can see this is the wild type case in everything we will be talking about these mutations we will definitely talk a uh, control system which is the wild type situation then we will talk about the mutant situation. If the wild type situation these are the norm normal uh, code that are present and uh, that pr produces this mRNA and from the mRNA produces the polypeptide chain which is totally fully functional protein. So it's totally fully functional protein. But right after that if we think about the mutation. Now suppose there is a single point mutation in this gene and the mutation is in this site. So this G is mutated and instead of G it, it is placed in uh, a T. Now GC was there and uh, all these things are there and as a result say yeah, uh, here is a G. Uh, here is a, a instead of G, and as a result of this mispairing, now as, and we know this A can pairs with T, but in the upper region also uh, T is uh, added. That means here what we are having, we are having G C at the primary step. Now we are having A T instead of G C. So uh, a pyrimidine is replaced by a pyrimidine and a purine is replaced by a purine. That means this is a transition type of uh, mut uh, point mutation and this kind of transition uh, 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 by TA uh, replacing this uh, CG uh, will lead to the change in the type of mRNA. So the mRNA will form will have a different code. Now see in this mRNA, in the previous mRNA, in the wild type what we are having, we are having a CAA. Now instead of the CAA what we are having, we are having UAA. All the other codes are the same. That means all the other codon regions are the same. That means amino acid sequences will be added are the same. But still instead of the CAA we have produced UAA and we know the significance of UAA, UAG and UGA, these three codons. Now this UAA U A G and e, sorry uh, and U G A again my mouse is uh, I don't know if this is very very bad anyways uh, sorry for my handwriting and it's U A A U A G and U G A these three type of codons that we can see they are called the termination codons or the stop codons that means these codons are not coding for any amino acid sequences instead it will uh, just kick off uh, those uh, ribosome from the mRNA unit and it will disrupt all the complexes and it will terminate the protein synthesis procedure so it will end up with the formation of UA. As a result, what we can see, this AA, uh, which carries for the amino acid lysine, will be put uh, correctly, no problem with that. But the right after that, we are having the UAA, so it will block the addition of further amino acid tRNA carrying the amino acid sequences. So it will uh, just kick off the uh, ribosome, tRNA, and all these things, and the protein synthesis will be terminated. So what we end up with here, with only one amino acid protein, which is uh, not a a actually at all uh, significant in uh, eukaryotic systems or in bacterial system. We, have, we, we may end up with two or three, but uh, for your understanding purpose, we, we have done this. Anyways, so in the previous case, what you made a polysaccharide, which is, uh, sorry, polypeptide, which is four mm, amino acid chain long, but in this we end up with only one. So as a result, we can see it will never get the properly functional protein because it is not having uh, those amino acid chains at all. So as a result, this protein will be malfunctional and uh, maybe this protein cannot be folded because uh, it's a very short stretch of amino acid sequences. So it, it will be malfunctional sometime. It will be less functional sometime. It can also be... Uh, unfolding uh, it, it cannot fold uh, properly it can also be possible and in those situations this this uh, amino acid stretch uh, uh, stretch will be degraded utilizing the proteasome system under the cell okay so this is uh, the pros type of uh, nonsense mutation so nonsense mutation means the mutation uh, in such a way it's, it could be a point mutation it could be a spontaneous type of mutation but whatever type of mutation but this mutation will ultimately lead up to the formation of a stop codon in between uh, the whole open uh, reading frame of a protein code coding okay so pr it's a whole protein coding region and in between that it will end up with the formation of a stop codon and as a result of this stop codon uh, this protein uh, will be terminated or the protein synthesis will be terminated uh, until it reaches its actual goal so as a result we end up with short stretch of protein which can be degraded easily okay 
so this is called the n uh, nonsense mutation and this is really really dangerous because it will end up with if, if all uh, the DNAs are uh, trying to make this kind of protein short stretch of protein which are m just meaningless which will be degraded so protein synthesis means lots of machineries lots of energy are, indu uh, uh, are uh, introduced but we end up with nothing right so in those situations these are really really disadvantages for cells so for cells cells need different machineries to fix this kind of problems that's why they are having those repair systems to change uh, this nucleotide incorporation or wrong nucleotide incorporations rather okay that's it and i hope it will help you thank you